Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. So today we continue on our lecture which is uh, chapter 6 simple linear regressions. Okay, what the main objective outline for today? Uh, we want to study on the solving using calculator then to calculate a coefficient of determination okay coefficient of determination is r square make sure you do not confuse between r and r square okay and then data analysis data analysis we are using the excel okay so make sure you have excel at least and then also your calculator scientifics okay, because we are using calculator in order to find the value of A and B. Okay, because last week we already learned how to find Y hat equal to A plus A plus B X. Okay, so how to calculate a to calculate a you must get b first okay and then when you get b you can calculate a in order to find b you must have the value of summation x y summation of x summation of y summation of x square and then summation of y square you need five items in order to find b okay so now what is your learning objective? So, of course, lah, at the end of this lecture, you can calculate the correlation of coefficient, which is R, by using calculator. Determine the regression equation, Y hat equal to A plus BX, by using calculator. And the regression equation predict the independent variable. Okay, let's proceed to the first one. Make sure you have calculator. Correlation coefficient using calculator. Okay, in order to find the um, correlation coefficient, at least you must have uh, calculator Casio 570 to your one hitam. Okay. Nanti saya tunjuk step by step. Siapa yang ada calculator yang ada juga yang Canon putih tu. Ah, Canon putih tu saya tak ada, saya tak guna yang tu. So, you kena uh, tadi sendiri lah how to solve it okay first if you are using calculator casio fx 570 es plus okay so you are using this calculator if you are using this calculator so now you want to find value of r in order to find the value of r you need summation of x square summation of x summation of y and also summation of x square, square summation of y square okay yang ni by using the same value so you must have five items in order to find value of r now by using this calculator okay we just test we just keep in the data in the calculator and then your calculator directly Straight forward give the answer. What is summation of x square? What is summation of x? What is summation of y? What is summation x times y? Okay. That's in your data in calculator. So how to solve it? For example, first, in order to use your calculator, you must clear memory calculator okay because your calculator can save the memory so in order to using the new data you must clear your calculator setup how to clear calculator setup first press on and then press shift press 9 press 1 press equal and press C. After you settle all these things, so your calculator memory is zero. It's not simple like memory memory yang lama. 
So make sure you kena press tu dulu. Press eh. Jangan lupa press tu. Press tu awak tekan calculator. This one for calculator 570 plus. See First saya tunjuk yang satu-satu. Nanti yang ada 570 yang satu lagi tu. Kejap lagi saya tunjuk. Okay. So after you clear your calculator setup. Next. We want to key in the data. When you want to key in the data. We must set your calculator to step mode. How to set your calculator to step mode? First, you must press mode and then press number three and then press number two. Okay? So this one in terms of linear regression. A plus A, AX plus B. Okay, press mode, press 3, press 2. Okay, then you already set up. So, calculator awak tu akan keluar dalam bentuk macam ni. X, Y macam tu. And then sini ada number. Okay, make sure calculator awak keluar macam ni. Baru kita boleh masuk. So, now you want to key in what is X, what is Y. Okay, for example, you have this data. X equal to 67, uh, 65 until 80. Y equal to 72 until 72. So now you want to key in the data. By using this calculator, you must key in data X first and then Y. So how to key in data X at the X column? You press number 65 and then press equal. Okay, after you press 65 and press equal, make sure on the X column, the Y column, X column, this one. After you press equal, dia akan turun ke bawah. Then here become N, N become 1 and 2. Okay, and then press 75 equal, press 57 equal until you press 80 and so, awak akan dapat bawah sekali value on the column X. Now, you want to press on the column Y. In order to go to the column Y, you press the button replay. Replay tu kan ada nak panah. Replay, anak panah untuk naikkan. Tu punya tu pergi ke Y column. Okay, and then after you already goes to the Y column, this one X, this one Y, you press replay to goes up in the Y column, and then you can press the data on the Y column, 72 equal, 59 equal, until the last data entry 72 and then equal. Finish in your data. Make sure you kena try key in. Nanti tak dapat jawapan. Okay. Okay. And then, after you finish 72 and then you press equal, next, you must clear the screen with press AC. When you press AC means that you clear the screen. Bukan clear memory ni tau. This one just only clear, clear the screen. Okay. After you clear the screen. And then. If you want to find summation of X. Okay. Because when you want to find the value of R. You need summation of X. Kan. What perlu summation of X. Summation of Y. Summation of X, Y. Summation of x square, summation of y square. Awak nak semua tu. How to find summation of x? To find summation of x, you press shift, press 1. And then press 3. Press 2. 2 ni adalah untuk summation of x. And then press equal. 
when you press equal and then you can get the answer. Apa jawapan dia tu? Awak boleh dapat. Okay? What is your answer? So you press equal. Ha. 4, 3, 6. Ha. Macam mana 4, 2, 6? Ha. Kesia Veni. You got 4, 2, 6. How you get 4, 2, 6? Adalah tu silap tekan. Ha. Kalau you silap tekan je kat atas tu, habis. Oh, silap tekan sini. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's one submission of X. Now, you want to find submission of Y. Also, same thing. Press shift, press 1, press 3. And then, press 4. Ha. And then, you get submission of Y. What is submission of Y? 431 Semua dapat 431 Okay Okay next You can find other submission Okay Order to find Oh siapa sendawa tu <laughs> Okay Submission of X square Shift 1 3 and 1 so, you can get equal summation of x square. What is summation of x square? x square. Apa dapat? 3, 2, 2, 4. Semua dapat tak ni? Okay. And then, also a same thing, summation of y square. So, you can get the answer. Okay. And then, summation of x times y. So, in order to solve this problem, buat tak perlu lagi buat table. Awak just press your calculator and then list down. Only you just list down what is submission of x square? What is submission submission of y square? Submission of x square. Okay? No need to show your calculation. Okay, just as in your value. So, you guna calculator. Tak perlu lagi you nak buat table, kira, darah, satu-satu. Okay, sebab kita hanya bagi jawapan apa yang ni. Make sure you must list down five items. Okay, submission of x square, submission of y square, submission of x, submission of y. Then, submission of x times y. Okay? Saya faham. Any problem? Before I proceed to the next calculator? Okay. Now, for those who are using this Casio FX 570MS. Nah, classic calculator ni. Siapa yang guna classic calculator ni? Okay. So, same thing. Okay, by using this calculator FX570MS, you must clear all memory setup. Yes, the old school ones. Okay, clear. How to clear memory setup? Press shift, clear, free, equal, C. This one, how to clear calculator setup. Make sure before you solve any problem, you must clear your memory. Bukan your memory, your calculator memory. Jangan clear awak punya memory pula. <laughs> clear calculator memory, okay? Shift, clear, CLR, 3, equal, C. Semua dapat, eh? Sebab kalau awak tak clear calculator memory, Dia akan recall yang lama-lama akan effect you punya calculation. Okay. And then, next, after you set up, you want to set up to linear regression mode. Okay. Sebab kita adalah dalam least square regression line. So, you want to set up to AX plus B. Okay. How to set up the AX plus B for this calculator you must press mode twice. Dua kali awak kena tekan mode sampai awak nampak lin, L-I-N. 
L I N is linear for two. Okay. Tak silap saya. Lin. Sebab saya tak ada calculator tu. Okay. Press mode times press two and then press one. Boleh? Press mode twice, press two and then press one. Awak kena cari yang tekan lin tu. L I N. Linear. Okay. Also a same thing. How to key in your data by using the same data. Kalau macam calculator tadi, kita key in satu-satu. Okay. X first, Y second. Okay. Untuk calculator ni, awak kena key in serentak. Okay. Seven, 65 and 72. But with the comma. Ada comma besar tu. Comma besar warna merah tak silap saya. Okay, so you press 65, comma, 72, and M memory, M plus. Kau tambah memory dia. M plus, ada M plus yang besar tu. Ini comma, comma besar tu. Okay. Tak silap saya, comma, ada comma. Ha, comma atas dia tu, warna putih ke apa. Okay, saya pun tak ada calculator tu sekarang. Okay, and then... 75,59 M plus. Jangan tertinggal M plus. Setiap kali awak press pair dia, plus. M plus. Okay. Different between pair is comma. Boleh? Settle. Back. Okay. And then, after you key in your data, want to find summation of x square. How to find summation of x square by using this calculator? You must press shift number one. Okay. Bila awak tekan shift, tekan nombor satu, dia akan keluar summation. Okay. One equal. So you can get the answer. Okay. And then how to find summation of Shift, one, two, equal. Okay. To find summation of X times Y. Shift, one, dia tak ada. That's why you kena tekan replay. Replay yang ke atas tu, dia ada anak panah. Awak nak panah ke kiri, ke kanan. Tekan replay anak panah ke kanan tu, baru keluar summation of Y. X times Y. Okay. So, S3 and then equal. Okay. Dapat ke tak tu? What is summation of X times Y? Ah, awak dapat apa summation of X? 31617. Ay, kenapa Muhammad? Azman 32224. Ha. Sure awak kena dapat jawapan yang sama. Kalau awak silap key in, silap lah. Okay. Also a same thing for summation of y square. Ha. Itu juga. Y square pun dia tak ada dekat Uh, main data tu So you kena tekan replay Replay yang butang bulat besar tu Press kanan Panah kanan tu Dia ada bulat tu Anak panah kanan ha, Macam tu kan Awak tekan yang kanan ni Lepas tu awak akan dapat Nampak yang Y kuasa 2 So you can press 1 And then equal Replay tu anak panah besar bulat tu So tekan yang dia ada bulat besar atas tu. Tekan yang ni. Tekan yang anak panah dia kan ada anak panah kiri, kanan, atas, bawah. Tekan anak panah ke kanan. Untuk bawa ke se, ke sebelah sana. Okay? Boleh? Bukan replay tu awak tekan tengah-tengah. <laughs> okay? Dapat? Summation of Y square. What is your answer for summation of Y square?
summation of y square ah camela y square tak akan y square 518 5184 tu mungkin summation of y square. Kalau awak silap maksudnya awak silap key in data. Make sure you get the right answer. C1 ah uh, sin error tu maksudnya awak silap kira. Silap masuk tu data. Kemungkinan awak silap anak panah. Wow, banyaknya apa tu? Ha ni mesti awak silap comma ni. Azri So, be careful in press your data. Ha, kalau awak silap press data, habis. Satu pekat, satu nombor silap out, lingkup semua. Make sure tukang calculator tu be careful sikit. Ataupun Azri, awak tak clear your memory. Ha, syntax error maksudnya awak silap tekan. Comma. Okay, make sure koma yang awak guna tu, koma yang duduk sebelah M plus tau. Sebab dia ada banyak koma tu. Bukannya koma semicolon koma tu. Koma yang duduk sebelah M plus. Eh? Faham? Sure tekan calculator tu betul. M plus punya. Okay. Next. <coughs> okay. Summation of Y also same thing. Boleh? Okay. Now, if you already know how to calculate using calculator. Okay. Kalau nak lagi detail, awak boleh tengok dekat YouTube banyak ni. Cara penengerangan calculator. Okay. Using regression line. Okay. Using calculator to find regression line. Dia ada terang banyak ni dalam calculator YouTube ni. Okay. So now. In order to solve value. Okay. To find the value you want to solve. For to find R. Okay. You just list down all your answer. Okay. Make sure you have at least five answer to submission Summation of y, summation of x times y, and then summation of x square, summation of y square. And then, you boleh dapat lah. Okay, next. Coefficient of determination. Last week, we are ready on the final value of r. Okay, awak jangan confuse between r and r square. Okay. r is Coefficient of relation. Correlation coefficient. R. R square coefficient of determination. Bezer to R and R square. Okay. So, how to find R square? In the definition, R square equal to explain variation divided by total variation. It is actually the square as a value of Okay, R kita dah tahu macam mana nak cari which is a summation of N times by summation of X, X times Y minus summation of X times by summation of Y divided by square root of N times by summation of X square minus summation of X kuasa 2 harap dengan N times by summation of Y square minus summation of Y square. Okay. Itu untuk cari value of R. Untuk cari value of R square, you just squarekan value R yang you dapat. Okay? Then, how to interpret the R square? Okay? So, this one, the word sentence in order to interpret R square. Sebab, each question always ask you value R, interpret. Value R square, interpret. Okay. So, last week we already learn how to interpret R. R kan akan ada banyak. Okay. Positive. Strong positive. Relationship. 
coefficient, relation of coefficient. Strong, negative. Weak, very weak. Very strong. Ha, tu you kena ingat between the value tu. You kena ingat untuk interpret R. To interpret R square using this one. You must convert the value of R square to percentage first. Let's say you get R square equal to 9, 0.91. R square you get 0.91. So you must convert to percentage in order to interpret. Hafal je ayat ni. This means that 91% darat je dengan 100. The variation in Y. That is why. Y is dependent variable. Awak kena mention lah dependent variable tu. Can be explained by the relationship between X and Y. So yang ni pun sama juga. Awak kena mention lah what is your X, what is your Y. Okay. And then the remaining of the variation is unexplained. Okay. Any problem? Play. Faham ke tidak? Sebab semua ni kita dah belajar last week. So today only solve using calculator. Okay. If you don't have any question, next. Using Excel in the data analysis. Ha, ni kita nak guna Excel. Sebab your assignment 3, you must use Excel. Eh, assignment 3, sorry. Assignment 4. Assignment 3 saya dah bagi. Assignment 3 akan ada dua chapter tu. Chapter 5 and chapter 6. Submit next week. Remember that. Okay. Chapter 5 and chapter 6. Yang tu kena guna manual. Maksudnya awak tekan calculator je. Awak list down. What is submission of X? What is submission of Y? What is submission of X square? Yang tu guna calculator. But for assignment 4. Assignment 4 chapter 5. Chapter 6. Chapter 7. Ni saya tak bagi lagi. Sebab data dia banyak. Boleh cecah ratus-ratus. In real situation. Alhamdulillah ribu sekalipun. Okay. So how to solve it? You can using Excel. Kalau awak tak ada SPSS. Tak ada mini tab. Awak boleh guna Excel. Okay. How to using Excel in order to solve linear regression. Ha, macam mana nak guna Excel? First, you must check your Excel must have analysis, data analysis tool. Awak kena check dulu Excel awak tu ada ke tak data analysis tool. How to check it? Macam mana nak check dia? Macam tu. Awak pergi kepada data. Okay. And then, you must check data, klik data. And then, looks on the ada tak dia mention data analysis? If have data analysis means that your Excel is already at in with data analysis. Sebab kita akan guna pattern data analysis ni in order to find linear regression line. Nova nanti chapter 7 pun kita akan guna yang ni. So make sure you have this data analysis in your Excel. Check. Tengok. Okay. What happen if your Excel don't have data analysis? So you must add in. So how to add in your data analysis? As a file, as option, add in, then go. And then analysis to pack, and then press OK. So after you settle all these things, your Excel should have data analysis. Make sure you uh, stop dulu, uh, stop dulu your punya uh, Excel tu. How to solve it? Ah, kejap saya tu. Okay, jap. Okay. Can you see my Excel? You can see or not? Okay, Excel. So first, you must check. The Idris left the meeting. Wow. <laughs> okay, first, when you open the Excel, 
must check your data analysis. Press data. <laughs> and then, ha, tengok. Data analysis here. Okay. Data analysis kat situ. Ada ke tak? Kalau tak ada, you kena um, add lah data analysis tu. Sure you ada. How to add if you press data and then not have data analysis. So you go to file. Okay. Press option. So awak akan nampak macam tu. Okay. Excel option. Okay. You press add in here. Ah, after you press add in, dia lambat sikit. So, rani, 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 maklumlah. Press add in, still press in. Ah, okay, dia akan keluar macam ni. Kalau awak punya tak ada, analisis tool pack awak ni akan duduk dekat inactive lah. Sebab saya dah ada kan. So, perlulah lagi. So, analisis tool pack, yeah, make sure you choose analisis tool pack. Bukannya analisis toolpad VBA. Okay. Make sure you choose analisis toolpad. This one. Okay. And then go to manage down. Make sure Excel add in. Yang kat bawah tu. Down. Manage tu. Then press go. Bukannya klik kat atas tu terus ok. Dia kena press go first. Bila awak press go. And then akan keluar windows macam ni. Ha ni. Okay, and then click analysis to pack. Okay, and then press. Okay. Okay. Supposedly, when you... Apa yang tak nampak? Tak nampak ke Excel saya? Ha? Alah, kau tak kelabu. Ha, maksudnya dia lambat running lah tu. Haa. Aduh, yang penting awak dengar. Eh, okay. tak nampak tapi dengar. Option. File tekan option. Ha, kelabu tu maksudnya running lambat lah tu untuk awak terima. <laughs> ha. Okay. Lambat sikit lah tu. Ha, patut lah. Hmm, okey lah kot. Option tu ha. Tapi yang penting, awak pergi dekat option, add in. Awak tekan add in, lepas tu analysis tu. tu. Okey. And then go to manage kat bawah tu. Okey. And then press go. Ha. Kalau saya tunjuk pun tak nampak juga kan. Share. Okey. Yang penting awak buat. Kalau tak siapa yang tak boleh, bagi tahu saya. Hmm, yang option tu dia tak bagi nampak kan. Hmm, mungkin lah kot. Okay, never mind. Yang penting, awak try key in. Uh, uh, awak try masukkan data analisis tu ada ke tak? Siapa yang tak boleh, bagi tahu saya. Kalau problem untuk masuk data analisis. Okay, apa awak klik analisis tool pack tu? Okay. Awak ni dulu. Apa ni? Uh, kalau dia tak keluar, awak uh, restart dulu. Setengah tu dia kena restart dulu. Okay. Okay, next. We are using Excel pula sekarang ni. Kita nak guna Excel in order to solve this problem. Ha. Okay. Still is normalized by heating above the critical temperature. Okay. Shokin in a air cooling. An experimental want to investigate effective, the effectiveness of time consuming in heating on the strenuous, strengthens of the steel. Okay, so you have time consume and strengthens of steel. Ada dua tu. First, in order to using your Excel, buat kena key in dulu data ni. Tak, kira, tak kisahlah. You want to key in your data X X ni time lah. Y is strength. Okay, you want to key in horizontal ke, vertical ke, is up to you. You can choose either one you like. Jangan buat diagonal pula. Boleh. Dia kena vertical or horizontal only. Okay. 
after you press your data in the Excel, I will key in some more data in the Excel. Now, we, are, we want to use your data analysis to solve regression. First, to press data yang dekat atas tadi and then click data analysis. Bila awak klik data analysis, akan keluar satu table yang macam-macam. ANOVA, regression, uh, Z test semua boleh solve. But you must choose regression. Ada, dia kat bawah sikit. Kan? Regression, okay? After you choose regression and then you press OK. And then we he come up with another windows. Okay? You must put your Y range. Maksudnya, your data yang duduk dekat Y and then your data yang duduk dekat X. Y is dependent, X is independent. And then press OK. Okay. So, kalau awak tengok, dia akan keluar macam ni. Okay. After you key in your data, and then you press data here, and then press data analysis, and then choose regression. Lepas tu, dia akan keluar table ni. Window ni. Ha, ni. Okay. So now you want to select your X input and Y input. Jangan confuse tau sebab dia akan letak Y dulu baru X. Okay. So jangan awak tersilap. Kalau awak tersilap, salah. Okay. So first you must input Y range. Y range tu adalah untuk dependent. So you press this button, select dan Y. Y duduk kat bawah. Select habis. And then, lepas tu tutup, press for Y pula. For X, yang atas punya. And then tutup. And then, press OK. Bila awak tekan OK, dia akan keluar result to another sheet. Okay? So, dia akan keluar result macam ni. Ah, gitu. Okay? It is depend on your Excel model berapa pula. Kalau Excel you model lama-lama sikit, dia akan keluar result lain, bentuk dia lain, tapi yang penting value ni kena sama ni. Ha, ni. Multiple R, which is value of R, correlation of coefficient, R square is R square lah. Ha, biasanya kadang-kadang observation dia ni tak betul. Setengah tu. And then, apa yang kita nak guna juga? Eh, this one. Intercept and X variable. Because in order to solve Y hat equal to A plus BX. Ha. Okay. How to choose it? Okay. If you want to find the least square regression line. Izak kat bawah ni. We are using this one. Okay. So we can get Y hat equal to 29. 758 plus x variable 2.2575. Okay, ni untuk mencari least square regression line. Okay, and then how to find R macam saya cakap tadi. Interpret dia. Okay, kan ni from this value we can interpret. How to interpret kita dah belajar last week. Okay, when the time consume Zero, then the strength value of A. But every one minute increase, then this value of B. Okay, also a same thing. Predict, you can predict. Okay, just masuk je. Okay. Then how to find value of R and R square. Tadi yang saya cakap, ambil daripada table ni. So, awak boleh ambil direct. Okay. Any problem? How to using Excel? We already finished. Thank you. No.